here we have four absolutes of quality defined by Philip Crosby. Let's quickly go through them. And on next few slides, we will go into details of each of these four absolutes. So the first one is definition of quality is conformance to requirements. We talked about this earlier also. Crosby was of the opinion that quality is conforming to specification limits. That's what he felt that quality is. So the design group will set the specification and the production group will make product within those specifications. He feels that this is something which is measurable. People can work towards achieving that. So that's how he defined quality. And this was his first absolute of quality. Second absolute of quality is the system of quality is prevention, not inspection. So rather than inspecting quality into the product, emphasis should be on prevention. Third absolute of quality is performance standard is zero defect. Crosby was of the opinion that we should be targeting for zero defect only. There is no acceptable level of defects. Fourth absolute of quality is that measurement of quality is the price of non-conformance. So the cost of quality is what measures the quality. We need to reduce the cost of quality. That's what Crosby emphasized in his fourth absolute of quality. So this was a quick overview of four absolutes of quality. Let's go to these four on next four slides and dig a little bit deeper into that. So coming back to the first absolute, which says that definition of quality is conformance to requirements. Quality means conformance, not elegance or goodness. So how you define quality is just conforming to limits, specifications, tolerances, acceptance criteria. Meeting those things is quality. If you meet that, you produce a quality product. If you don't meet your specifications, then that product is not a quality product. And this is with the assumption that specifications have been set right. Other aspect of this is do it right the first time. So make sure that every time you make your product falls within the specifications, within the limits with and conforms to the requirements. And here in this absolute, Crosby suggested that management has three tasks related to this. One is clearly establishing requirements because unless you have requirements, you cannot meet that. So unless you have specifications, you cannot target to achieve that. So the first thing management need to do is clear, clearly establish requirements. Second thing is supply means to meet those requirements. So setting up requirements is just not enough then management has to provide resources and means to achieve those requirements. And third point which management has to do is spend time helping employees meeting those requirements. So it's quite logical. Like you set requirements, you make sure there are resources available to meet those requirements and then help employees to achieve requirements. And with that, your product will be conforming to whatever requirements you have set. The second absolute of quality proposed by Crosby is the system of quality is prevention, not inspection or appraisal. You cannot achieve quality by inspecting or appraising. The quality has to be achieved by prevention. You need to be proactive continually improve your processes, look into things where things could go wrong and correct that. That way, if the error has been eliminated from the beginning itself, then there is no need to do any inspection and you cannot miss that problem because that problem is not existing at all. Because you took preventive actions to eliminate that problem from the root itself. And the secret of that prevention is to look at the process and identify opportunities for error and then 
provide resources to correct that. Make sure that that error doesn't go into the system, doesn't go into the process. So this was absolute number two or the second absolute proposed by Philip Crosby. The third absolute of quality proposed by Crosby is the performance standard is zero defect. There is no target to reduce defect. The target should be to have zero defect. And this is not a motivational program. Management has to set that standard of zero defect and then provide all the resources to make sure that zero defect program is successful. So management defines the program, provides the resources, and employees perform to the standard provided by the leadership. Why things fail? Why mistakes happen? Crosby suggested two reasons for that. One is lack of knowledge or lack of attention. And then if you address these two aspects of error, these two aspects of mistake, and then target for zero defect. So this was the third absolute of quality proposed by Crosby. The fourth absolute of quality is measurement of quality is the price of non-conformance. From his experience being an inspector to a top leader or the quality guru, Crosby had understanding that management only listens to the language of money. So if quality problems have to be shown to management, that has to be shown in terms of the money, in terms of dollar value. So that's what he is proposing here, that measurement of quality is the price of non-conformance. So if you could convert all the losses, all the issues in terms of dollars, management will understand that language. Technical measurements of quality, probably management will not understand. These needs to be converted into dollar value so that people who take decision can understand the problem. So he defined two prices of quality. You have to pay two types of price to achieve quality. One is the price of conformance. The price of conformance is all the expenses you need to spend to make things right. Any training you provide, any prevention you do, any inspection you do, those are price of conformance. And then the second set of money is price of non-conformance. So all the expenses which are related to doing things wrong, rejection, repair, rework, fixing problem, correcting orders, warranties, all these come as a price of non-conformance. So this was the fourth and the last absolute of quality proposed by Philip Crosby.